G'day guys, welcome back to BM Trouble You. Today we're going to be looking at this 3 Series. We're going to be doing a battery removal and replacement. All right. Almost every BMW now has batteries in the back, right hand corner, or underneath the floor here. That's for X5s, F10s, and some other selected ones around. The E90s, back right hand, so to take that trim off, it's just this little this little puppy here, it's just a 90 degree turn, you pull that out, Got two 10 mils, you get to take out the bracket here, I normally just take out one bolt and that way I can flip up the bracket and get it out of the road. This will be a fairly easy battery to take out. The, um, the black AGM batteries are the ones you gotta watch out for. They are just impossible to get out. They come all the way out to here, and it's just ridiculous. It, it's, they take up so much space, and it's already awkward to get it into this little crevice. So we we'll take off the uh, terminals, that's the negative. Pop that puppy off. Get it out of the road. Now, what we've got here is power distribution box. Now, the uh, top here has all the cables that run to the starter motor. You got one that goes to the starter motor, one that goes to the valve tronic, the VVT. And you've also got one that goes to the front power distribution box, which is the fuse box or the junction box, whatever you want to call it. it requires popping up this little flap here. Undoing the 13 mil. It's also got little legs that hold on these sides here, so you've got to get in, in behind them and flick it up. Pop it off the uh, top here and get it off. Alright, this is the older style distribution box. Yours might look slightly different, no big deal. It's essentially the same. This black one's the old style one, I think. What's the colour of the new one? I don't know, grey or something. Alright, 10 mil on top of the positive here. Distribution box in way. There we go. Now you just have to loosen these off until they come loose. If you keep loosening them, they'll, they'll go tight again. Don't worry about it, it's no big deal. It's just hitting a bit of, um, hitting a bit of thread locker or something at the top. You don't have to worry about it. Just hit them until they're loose and you can pull them off like that. These batteries are a sealed, sealed battery, so you, and they you can't get into them. I mean, if you cut the sticker off the top here, you can get into them, but they're really meant to be sealed and uh, not unserviceable. Around the back here, you've got a breather hose. That breather hose goes down to the bottom of the floor. You just have to pop that little grey hose off. It's no big deal. Just like that. You leave a little black leg in there. And the last bit is taking off this, this is what holds the battery in, this little bracket here down the bottom. In their wisdom, BMW decided to save weight or money or whatever, that they weren't going to put the big leg on the newer style ones. So you might not see this big rod here. That's really helpful to get it out, otherwise you need a 3 8 extension and uh, it, it's all the way down the bottom here, the 10 mil, as opposed to having a big shaft on it. That's really helpful just to get it in and just to sort of sight it and drop it down when you're ready to put it back in. This is this sits in like this, that side holding up against the battery. All right. And the last thing you got to do is to get all this stuff out of the way and pull it out. You know, that's sometimes easier said than done. It might be easier with two people, and also it might be easier with two hands for me. But let's see if I can do it one-handed. Grab the handles here. Oh, rock and roll! Oh, got it. Okay. There we go. All right. That, like I said, that's a small battery. That's easy to get out. Those black ones, the AGM activated glass mat batteries, they are higher capacity. They are better for cold cranking amps. 
but they are no good to get out of that little space. That is the same size space for every single battery you can put in there that's available for the 3 Series. They go up to 90 amps and about, uh, what, 900 cca or thereabouts. All right, so reverse order for um, popping them back in. And we'll see you next time on BMW.